Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as we commemorate the 75th anniversary of the World Health Organization, I, on behalf of His Majesty the King, Her Majesty the Queen, and the Royal Government of Bhutan, would like to express our deepest gratitude and appreciation to the visionary leadership of the World Health Organization, both past and present, and to the selfless WHO staffs working across the world for a health and well-being of humanity. Thank you and Kadin Che. Bhutan joined the World Health Organization in 1982, and this year we celebrate four decades of meaningful and impactful partnership between Bhutan and the WHO. To the Bhutan country team, thank you for your resolute commitment and dedication. Health in Bhutan is predominantly public financed and universal in its scope in line with the Almata Declaration signed in 1979. Health services are provided free at the point of care from primary to tertiary level, including referral outside the country, thanks to our beloved successive monarchs who believed in providing the best quality health services for its people. Extensive early expansion in primary healthcare services has led to a substantial improvement in access throughout the country, with Bhutan achieving universal child immunization in 1991 and elimination of leprosy and iodine deficiency disorder in 1997 and 2003, respectively. Maternal mortality dropped by 88% from 770 in 1984 to 89 in 2017, and we have seen a significant decrease in infant and under-5 mortality rate, resulting in more children celebrating their fifth birthday and more mothers surviving childbirth complication today. The UHC Service <coughs> Coverage Index of Essential Health Services stands at 72%, an impoverishment that measures proportion of people being pushed into poverty because of out-of-pocket health expenditure stands below 1% at 0.3%. Over the years, WHO support had a significant impact on the overall development of Bhutan's health system. Through the provision of technical assistance to the Ministry of Health and development of guidelines, plans, strategies, and other related areas. And today, as we come together to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the World Health Organization, we offer our humble gratitude and appreciation for the support we continue to receive. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, although the world has seen a considerable health gains over the last century, the COVID pandemic has widened the scale of health inequalities at all levels and demonstrated the multiple impact of inequalities on the broader health of individuals and communities. Therefore, we would like to specifically call upon the Member States and the WHO to dialogue on prioritizing health equity and mark, mark this important event with a purpose. Equity in health system, equity in health human resource, equity in building health competencies, equity in health infrastructure, equity in technology and equity in health financing should be prioritized and implemented. It is through the united presence that we can put our hearts and ideas together and draw strength to collectively enhance equitable and resilient health system across the globe. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let us once again make history together at this extraordinary event by redefining our vision for a healthier and resilient planet, renewing our commitment to serve our people and transforming the provision of the universal health coverage for all. Thank you and Tashidene.